What is going on guys, Will Morris here bringing us a brand new episode of Commander Station, the best station for Washington Commander's Nation. Now, feels weird saying that because it still feels weird getting used to the new name, but that's what I wanted to make this episode about. I haven't made an episode for this show in months. I got really busy so I got picky with what type of videos I would make, but also the team just drove me to a new levels of frustration this year. So I was just like, ah, I am just don't want to do Washington Station this season. But I had a feeling once the rebrand came, I was going to hop right back into it and really just want to do it again. And that's what's happened. And I just want to take a week to really just kind of gather the uh, reaction to the name change. And before I made a video talking about my opinion on it, I like it. I, I've known the name for about three months. I found out late November, early December. And I was like, okay. It's fine. I don't love it. I don't hate it. But it's fine. A little part of me still hoped for Red Wolves and maybe that it was all a mislead, but uh, it wasn't. And obviously it was Commanders. But yeah, here we are. We are the Commanders. It's awesome. I, I love the rebrand as I've had time to really think about the name and, you know, gather my feelings about the name. I, I realize I love it and it fits it so well. It fits the DC area, you know, because you had the Commander in Chief, you know, the Commanders, if you go back over the military and to go to like the past of the country you know it really is a unifying name and that's what a team in DC needs to be is a team that's unifying for all because let's be honest Washington team has been a very divisive team a very controversial team to have a name that at least in its attempt is to unite everyone around and I think it's what we need with you know the allegations and stuff going on with some of the players and you know just our past and I feel like it was a perfect move I don't think you really have a better fitting name for right now than the commanders I'm just so excited for this rebrand I think the jerseys look sick the home jersey home burgundy jersey amazing I love the gold lettering because gold is like my favorite color golden yellow so just having that uh, color scheme a little bit more in there is amazing the black jerseys are sexy I'm not gonna lie I can't wait to see those things in action. I love it. You know, I heard when I heard that there was going to be a black alternate jersey, I was like, this is what I've wanted. Because all these other teams have these cool alternate jerseys. We've never really had one. We had the classic throwback, but we never had like an alternate current jersey. So having this one is just, I'm, it's exciting for me. Now, the, one, the white one, I didn't love it when I first saw it. And I'm still not fully on board with it. But I've seen some edits of like in action, like Terry McLaurin in action, Chase Young in action in the jersey, and it's grown on me, and I and I'm starting to love it. The, but the moniker is, if you win, everyone loves it. So, simple solution, dear Washington, if you win, we will love it all. Now, one thing I did want to hit on, you know, we had the new hashtag Take Command, which I love, and when that started trending the day before the name drop, I was like. I got mad that the name was dropping because like I knew him for three months but I didn't say anything not like I had a voice that people would listen but the fact is I could have said the name if I wanted to but I didn't but I did then and um it really made me angry you know with the helicopter and if you're watching this video you probably know about all the leaks that were getting out and that just upset me I was just like really we made it two years you couldn't hold off ten more hours but the one thing is hail to the commanders hashtag HTTC I loved the HTTR hashtag. Every Washington fan did. My opinion is if you're rebranding and you're kind of saying, okay, this is what our past is, we're moving on. Why keep that? That's like holding on to like a little bit of the past. Let go. Let go. Let go of the past. Take command is great. But HTTC, I mean, I love it in a way because I did love the HTTR and I think it still works. It feels like you're just like, oh, that was so good. Let's just keep holding on to it and almost like, let's just go till we can't. You're really going to hold on to that. That's an interesting choice, but I respect it. And I'll use it. Um, I do like Take Command more at the moment, but, you know, we'll just see as we get closer to the season, as the season goes on, which one we like more. One thing I did want to hit on is some news going around the team about who we going to go after in the draft because it's pretty obvious we're going to eat either trade for a QB or draft a QB. 
Uh, I just want to say if we draft QB, I'm not saying this just because I'm from Liberty, but I partially am saying this because I'm from Liberty. I want us to take Malik at 11. I think he's just a total package. He needs a little bit more development, but I think with the right skill set team around him, I think he'd be great. I think he has a toolbox that Ron Rivera would know how to use perfectly. So I would really like to see how we evolve, how we would evolve if Malik were to come to Washington. But I don't want to wait till the draft. I want a veteran, a leader. I want Russell Wilson. I think he's a proven leader from the Richmond area. I think he'd be a great fit. And the little birds out in the uh, space, I've heard say that he'd be open. He'd be open to come to Washington. And I'd love to see Russell Wilson in the commander's jersey. Wouldn't you? I mean, who wouldn't? Let's be honest. I love Taylor Heineke, and I think he could be a starter. But I just don't feel like the team is going to put forth the effort to make to better Taylor. And I feel like they're going to fully rely on Taylor to better himself, which, yes, that is important when you're a pro athlete. You're expected to handle the improvement and development on you, on yourself. But it also helps that the team provide some of the utilities or tools to help you take that extra step in preparation and development which is something I would love to see but I hope he stays around his backup he is under contract for the season which I'm excited for I love seeing him get an, get an opportunity to start if we do draft the QB because I think he has a skill set that just needs a little bit of tinkering and he'll be right there so close I think all Washington fans can agree that he has potential to be a good starting quarterback but really focus back on the commanders thing. I want to hit on those notes a little bit. The Washington, D.C. football commanders. I'm not the biggest fan of the logo because it feels like the W worked for the Washington football team. But I was like, I was hoping for something like really brand new for uh, the rebrand. But uh, I like it. It's fine. It has kind of like a little cool 3D aspect to it, which is dope. I do love the little seal. I know fans have been divided on it. I'm not the biggest fan of like the years on it. But the seal itself, I think, is cool. It's kind of retro. It's different. And I'm excited to see it patched onto the jerseys. I think it fits. I think it works great. But one thing that is interesting is President Jason Wright said we are going to have a mascot. Who knows what a mascot's going to be? I saw, like, a hog in a military uniform. I would love that. That would be cool. I saw one with, like, a cigar in his mouth. I'm like, that would be sick. I want that. Please give me that. Uh, I think if we do do a mascot, it should be a hawk. If you're going to hold on to the past with HTTR, hold on to the hawks because that is such a very important part of our past. Embrace it. Make the mascot a hawk because I think it's dope. I think it's cool. I think it's funny. I think it'll draw people in. I'm a fan of the Phoenix Suns, and our mascot is a gorilla. It doesn't have to make sense. But if it works for the team, it works. And, you know, it works for the Phoenix Suns. That's where I stand on it. I'm excited for that. Uh, we're going to get a new uniform soon that is fan designed, which is awesome. I love that they're doing that and getting really getting the fans involved. I'm excited for some new logos that they said they might tinker with and maybe unveil, unveil depending on how the fans react. And I'm excited for just what's coming up. Uh, this feels like brand new life. It's an exciting time to be a Commanders fan. And I'm so glad I could say Commanders fan because I've been waiting to say Commanders fan for like three months now. And now being able to say it is it's like a breath of fresh air, really. And it's like this whole two years of team with no name jokes and what is it going to be? All that is behind us and we can just look forward to improving as a football team and changing as an organization for the better and really just bettering Washington, D.C. and bringing a positive light among us. Also, while we're in the search of getting a new stadium, which hopefully will be here, in Virginia, which I would love. The way the team rolled out the introduction of the new name, I really loved. I loved the uh, video on YouTube, We Are the Commanders. The director's cut is amazing. If you haven't seen the director's cut, go check it out. It it almost made me cry. It gave me a little lump in my throat feeling. It was just, it was beautifully made. It really embraced the whole culture of the team. The ceremony that they had I thought was really nice. I love seeing some old players. You know, I'm a big fan of Pierre Garçon, Chris Baker, Santana Moss, and uh, Jordan Reed, and seeing them there, and Brian Arakpo, and seeing them there was just, oh, it just, it made me, it gave me a lump in my third too. I'm like, oh, those are the guys that grew, I grew up watching as a Washington fan, and 
it's exciting just to see them all there embracing a the new name and I need one of those Letterman jackets it seems like they might be making those in uh, production I need it bad those things are sexy those things are beautiful and I want to wear one. I know a lot of fans are like, oh, we hate the name. They're hating it because it's not the former name. And that's it. And if they're going to be stuck up about that, I get it. It's the past. It's, it was that name for over 80 years. But it's time to move on. Embrace the future. It's still the same team. And it's still the same legacy. I'm excited. I'm so excited for this. I know it's mixed bag. I know there's just so much built up feelings. And I understand it. Trust me, I do. I miss some of the stuff of the old name too, but to me, it's bigger than a name. It's bigger than a logo. It's bigger than who the coach is. It's bigger than who the owner is. To me, it's bigger than who's quarterback. To me, it's about the foundation, the fan base, the legacy, and what it means to be a fan of the commanders or just the Washington NFL team. It's amazing, and I hope you guys will join me on this ride of being ecstatic and super excited for this new age of the Commanders. And I'm ready to rock one of those jerseys too. So thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed. Make sure to hit that bell button down below so you're notified every single time a brand new episode of Commander Station. And I hope you have a great day. I'm Amoris and I'm out. Peace.